Hi guys and welcome to the channel. I am Marv and this is Readings by Marvelous Madame Tarot. This is going to be your June 2024 number two energy reading for the beautiful sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Happy Cancer season, happy full moon in Capricorn. If you're interested in the full moons and the new moons every single month on my website, you can find a blog version of what's going to happen and how it's going to affect each one of you guys um, as far as these full moons and new moons go every single month. If you're interested in what's going to happen as far as video form, please watch the readings by Marvelous Madame Tarot Instagram and TikTok for those short form videos on that. This is going to be your energy read. But before we set this up, Pisces, if you're interested in purchasing any past extensions, this will not be extended. If you're interested in booking the last appointment with me for the $25 special, please do that. Um, and if you're interested in shopping um, in my wax shop, you can do that, as I just stated, and so much more at the website, www.marvelousmadame.com. See you there. Pisces, if you've already watched the, the, the reading on your channel, this is going to be um, another version of that reading. It is channeled energy from your person. What energy that comes out will let me know the relationship status between you and this individual. I will not be doing an informational style video as far as giving you the card meanings. I'm just going to channel their energy. And at the end, if there are any Last thoughts, or I will be giving you my last thoughts and we will be discussing whatever remains or what remains at that time. This is for Pisces. Channeled energy for Pisces. Okay. Ten of Wands. Hmm. Ace of Pentacles. This is for Pisces. This is for Pisces. Here we go. Two of two of Pentacles. Interesting. <clears throat> Pisces, I've definitely been overwhelmed. I've been overwhelmed and um, definitely stressed out. Loving you has created burdens. I hate to say that and be so direct and honest, but I don't know how to say that. I don't know how to tell you the truth without saying that to you. I feel a lot of burdens when I think about loving you. There is just, it's a constant uphill battle and that revolves around commitment. It revolves around moving forward. It revolves around your lack thereof or the lack of you letting me know where we stand. We've been down this road before, I know, and it's always the same. You made me feel like I wasn't good enough for a commitment when really you were just all over the place and you can you find it very hard to balance more than one area of your life. And when you fall apart, you take that out on me. I've been there with you from the beginning. I've watched you at your worst. And I've watched you at your best. And yet, I still have not felt as I have been, I have been respected the way that I should be respected by being told or being given my proper just due. Now, I know that sounds like I want some type of prize. But every cause has an effect, Pisces, and I feel that I wanted the prize of being respected enough. I feel disrespected. I feel used. I feel that you have taken me on a ride in your indecision instead of looking at the situation from my perspective and trying to make me feel secure in your decision. The disrespect comes from you knowing that you felt a certain way and you're not discussing it with me. In the past, I came to you and I told you my truth. 
I told you that I wanted you. I told you that I was in love with you. I told you that I wanted a new beginning with you. I told you that you were my wish fulfilled. The intimacy was on point. You checked off every box for me. Yet, if I didn't do those things for you, you kept it to your chest. You kept it to your chest. Now, how do would you feel if I put you in a car and you didn't know how to operate it and I said, figure it out? Would you try to figure out, like if you had no knowledge of how to drive? You know some of the basic concepts. You know a key has to go inside of an ignition. You know you must start up a car, but you don't know anything about the gears. Let's make it even harder. Let's put you in the stick shift. You know how to go from, to, you know, up, up, up gear, down shift, whatever it is. Just as confusing as this analogy sounds, as, this, as confusing as it was. You put me in a driver's seat. To ride in a car of indecision with you and you basically operated every single day differently sometime down to the second I watched you go through a range of emotions in a matter of seconds but you couldn't articulate that to me and my love was steady and my love was was true and you found comfort in my love and yet I felt completely and utterly and utterly confused after loving you. One of the things that I had to do in order to get off of this toxic wheel of shame for myself was to really pick up the pieces Pisces and put myself back together. Now you may feel some sort of way about that, but I just tried to break down to you how you made me feel. And because I am the person that was there for you, somehow you took for, you took that for granted and just thought that I would be there forever. Just accepting not getting anything back from you. And that's not fair. It's not fair. So now I no longer feel the same way those cycles has ended. And now I'm walking into a brand new stable beginning. Now I'm not flaunting a new relationship in your face. That's not exactly what I'm doing for. I, I would imagine that I definitely could, but that's not what this is. I fell back in love with me. I had to turn that beautiful nurturing energy that I so freely gave you back on to me to get myself off of this hamster wheel. And I'm say, and I'm finally at a point where I can say that I'm happy that it is over with because there are some people that are made and they like the go with the flow and the freedom of kind of making the rules up as they go and kind of moving along. I don't like the way it makes me feel. And so you may love to, you know, uh, and, you know, swim away, as they say about your Zodiac sign and, you know, flirt here, flirt there. You don't necessarily have to be a cheater. That that's subjective. I didn't say you cheated, but I don't like the go with the flow and how it makes me feel because I never felt that we were on the same page. So how can you again put me in that same car and just say, ah, you don't need to know how to drive. You just need to know how to do put the key in the ignition, but we're still stuck. OK, then now all you need to learn how to do is cut the lights on and off. Okay, so now all you need to do is learn how to cut on the radio and cut it on and off. Like, I'm still not driving the car. Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm still not moving forward. I'm learning how to operate within the car. I know how to cut the interior lights on and off, but I am not moving. And to some people that just is, is you know, just wants to be in the car with you. I know I'm going on and on with this car analogy, but I'm hoping that I can break it down in a non-threatening way because I don't want to offend you when I tell you this because I know that your feelings are fragile. You may hear me, but are you listening? Some people may be okay with just being the thrill of sitting in your car, but I don't want to just sit. I want to move forward. So I hope that that made sense to you. I am now moving in a in a way in my heart where I am trying to rebuild me. 
And I'm happy to say that now I am experiencing that in whatever way that may be. This is not to make you feel a certain way. This should be this should have been ex- expected. People don't just stay. People move on because this is life. Just like I would expect that you've done the same thing. And no, I'm not going to necessarily say that I'm blocking you or anything like that. I just think that it's best for us to leave things the way that they are. All right, Pisces. So the only major arcana here that remains is the world. This person feels like um, communication and commitment and all of those things that they wanted was never brought up in a way uh, where they can get through to you. This person is now picking up the pieces and is finally moving into some brand new beginnings without you. Um, doesn't necessarily mean that it is a relationship, but as a matter of fact, there is no relationship cards on the board except for this nine of cups that came out in the past position. I've already broke that down in the channel messages. So the only thing that remains is the world card. And, you know, I believe that this person is fully embracing this world card um, to the fullest of their potential. And they're deciding, you know, I'm sure you're not with this person um, or maybe you guys are not in a, a, a place where you are not communicating. But, you know, maybe you communicate every once in a while and there's no hard feelings. That's kind of what I think this person is, you know, I, no hard feelings. Like I wanted what I wanted a life with you. But since it fell apart, it's like no hard feelings. I don't know how you feel about that, Pisces, because I'm not extending this. Um, I will be extending them at some point where I'll do channel messages from them. And then in the extension, I'll channel how you feel. But for now, this is where we're going to end it. Like, share, subscribe to The Marvelous Tribe. Everything you need is below in the description box for you and your collective and independent comment. And Pisces, I will see you in July. This is going to be the last video closing out your energy. We have a couple more, um, a couple more um, collective readings and then to July we go. Bye, guys.